want to sing a little bit of this song. Yeah. It was playing yesterday. He was going to Jack, coming back to that one of the. But uh, the song I used to try to sing a long time ago, and I was like, ooh, I'm going to sing that song. And boy, let me live. What is this? Got me feeling so good right now. What is this? Yeah, yeah. Makes me want to run on anyhow. Whatever it is.
Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, behind that note, while we get ready for the word of God, amen. amen. Keep on playing that music. Amen. amen. I want to present the song and introduce to us none other than my beautiful wife. Amen. Sister Betty Dye. Amen. amen. Give her another hand. Amen. And thank you for that song. Oh, yeah. Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things are become new most gracious father we come to you on this morning Lord just to tell you thank you Lord we just thank you for life on this morning God I want you to help me to decrease that you may increase Lord let your word not fall on deaf ears but let it accomplish that which you have sent it out to do. This perhaps in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen Lord. And for a topic or subject, if. And the subtopic is in. If. If. You might say, if what? If. The Bible says, therefore, if. Any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. See, if is in a conjunction. And in this particular scripture, it's used as a conditional clause. And a conditional clause are subordinate clauses that refer to a hypothetical situation, usually starting with the conjunction if. They are used along with the main clause that describes the possible the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. If. So we think about if. The word says, if a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Now, most people, if you ask them, are you a Christian? They're going to say, yes, I'm a Christian. Or if you ask them, do you believe in God? Yes, I believe in God. But Paul told the Corinthian church, he said, therefore, if, the condition of Paul, mm. if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old mm -hmm. things are passed away. Yes. And become, I mean, all things are passed away, and behold, all things become New. So after the word new, new means not existing before. Not 
previously used or owned, freshly or recently produced, acquired recently or now for the first time. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. New means I'm not that same person that I used to be. That's why when I say, if you ask most people, are you a Christian or are, do you believe in God? They're going to say yes. But when you sit back and you watch how they live, you'll be like, you say you're a Christian? You say you believe in God? But your lifestyle has not changed? That's why he put that condition to cause that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. So you're only a new creature if you be in Christ. Uh And the only way you can be in Christ, there's a few things that you have to do in order to be in Christ. First thing, we have to acknowledge that we are a sinner. See, most folks don't believe they're going to sin. <laughs> so if you acknowledge you're a sinner and you need a savior, then you go and you try you go to be what you call saved. Yes. Once you become, as we say, saved, you get baptized in Jesus' name, and you get filled with the Holy Ghost, now we're supposed to be a new creature. Because now the mindset that we have is supposed to be different from the one that we used to have. Amen. That's why I said new means not previously used or owned or not existing before. See that old man, you understand why you act like you act. Because there ain't no change happen. But so many of us say we're Christians but still no change has happened. But Paul let know that but if any man be in Christ, you are a new creature. And I guess that's why so many people still live like they live. It's because they're not in Christ. Because if you are truly in Christ, I just, and maybe just my just narrow mind, but it's hard for me to believe that you can still be the same as, as you were if you are in Christ. Because that makes me think about Galatians chapter 5. Start at verse 19. And it says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest. A word or put out there. You get to see it manifest like made known. Which are these? Now he's not going to tell us what these works of the flesh are. Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, Lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murderers, drunkenness, reveling, as such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, if you're supposed to be, there's that if, (laughs) that conditional clause, (laughs) if you've been born again, if you are in Christ, there is no reason on God's beautiful earth that you should be practicing Mm. Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Amen. If you are in Christ, me wrong. There's a difference in practicing something yes. and something that you might have done one time. Yes. For some reason, Talk I to. might be put in a situation and I just needed to tell a lie. At least I, I don't say I need. I felt like I needed to tell a lie. <laughs> and that's a difference in me in that situation. I felt like for whatever reason I need to lie. Versus me practicing lying. Every day, mm. all day, every time you see me, a lie coming out of my mouth. Wow. That's see, there's a difference. Amen. See, if you're in Christ, you should be practicing lying. Amen. If you're in Christ, you should not be giving in to your flesh and desires every time your flesh desires something. Amen. If. Yeah. Yeah. And the subtitle was in. If any man be in Christ, mm. that's how we become a new creature. Amen. But you can't get 
Amen. Why are we in church trying to serve God if it don't matter how you live once you say you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior? You're going to heaven anyhow. Amen. But the word of God says, if any man be in Christ, if you say that's how a man say something, Amen. that means my lifestyle going to look like what or who I say I am. Amen. Now, if Brother Devin come in one day and said, I'm not a man no more. Mm. <laughs> I decided I'm going to be a dog. <laughs> I don't care how he say he a dog. If he ain't acting like a dog, yeah, if he don't look like a dog, <laughs> Get your he dog ain't no dog. Here. I said it to say this. A lot of people walk around saying that they're saved, saying that they're Christians, but they're not in Christ. Because if you are in Christ, to me, like I said, maybe it's just me. It's just hard to purposely sin if you are in Christ. Amen. And when you do do something, it's going to bother the heck out of you. Amen. If you are in Christ. Amen. Now, if you ain't in Christ, it don't matter. It ain't going to bother you not one bit. Help somebody. Help somebody. John chapter 3, verse 3 says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except. 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 A man be born again, he cannot. See the kingdom of God. Hmm. So just saying, I believe, ain't gonna get it. The devil believe. The devil tremble. Amen. But the devil ain't going to heaven. Amen. We gotta make sure we know beyond a shadow of a doubt where we stand in our walk with Christ. Because if you're not in Christ, you're in trouble. Amen. So you need to make sure you are in Christ. Because that old man, don't get me wrong, when we first accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, you know, we said we're excited. And we try to do everything we can to do right. But you have to understand, you're on milk. You're learning. You're growing to get off the milk and to get on the meat. So while you're on the milk, you may do some things that you ain't got no business doing because you're learning and you're trying to grow. But now when you get on the meat, them things that you used to do when you were on the milk, you shouldn't have graduated from that. You shouldn't be so easy to give into the flesh when you're on the meat. But like I said, if, if any man be in Christ, the condition of clause, if he is a new creature. Old thing. What I used to do, how I used to act, how I used to talk, how I used to handle situations. All things should be passed away. But then he came around and he said, and all things are become new. They're new because the old things have been passed away. Romans 6 and 4 says, Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in newness of life. In other words, we should be striving every day to do well. We should be striving every day to be like Christ. We can't be Christ, but we can be like Christ. Somebody said, what does it mean to be like Christ? That means do how, handle things the way Christ handled things. Live your life the way Christ lived his life. Christ lived his life for one purpose. That was to please the Father. The reason why we can't do what we want, need to do, because I main purpose is not to please Christ. Our main purpose is to please self. As long as I'm happy, that's all that matters. But that's not all that matters. Amen. What
what mad it is, does my life please God? The way I'm living, is God satisfied? If God ain't satisfied, you shouldn't be satisfied. Walk in the newness. Walk. Walk. Walk in the newness of life. Because you are a new creature in Christ. Because all things have passed away. You know, I hear a lot of people say, I'm saved, but that old man ain't dead. <laughs> I hear a lot of folks say that. Well, that old man might not be dead. But you need to try to kill that old man. <laughs> Amen. Because if you get put in certain situations, when that old man comes from, it ain't going to be like, like, what the world? I thought he was saved. I thought she was saved. <laughs> but look how they acting. So we don't want to keep the old man living. We want to get rid of the old man. Because <laughs> the devil will use any excuse he can to get you to act unseen. So if we want to say, they better watch out. Because the old man ain't dead. Well, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, if any man be in Christ, he a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. So if your old man is still living, you gotta try to figure out how you can kill him. Because <laughs> so I hear people say, you know what? They're gonna make me so mad, I'm gonna put my religion on the shelf. Why you wanna put it on the shelf? <laughs> you want to you want your religion to be displayed at all times. You want people to see the Christ that's in you. You don't want them to see the devil that should be in you. Amen. Come forth. If. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22 through 24 says, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, yes. the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Now Ephesians just told me that former conversation that old man Second Corinthians 5 says if any man be in Christ he a new creature. All things are passed away. So we shouldn't hop on the old man. We shouldn't hop on what I used to. Somebody, boy, they better watch out. Because I tell you, if that old man rise up, they ain't going to be what they want. You're right, it ain't what they want. And it shouldn't be what you want either. Because, we, I mean, and a lot of times I think we say things and not really thinking about what we are saying. Because if you're telling me that the old man can come forth, that lets me know you got some work to do on you. Amen. Or with God, now you ain't got to work. God got some work to do on you. And the only way God can do the work on you, you have to want God to do the work. Amen. So let's stop bringing the old man into existence. Because the old man is supposed to be dead. If they dead, I heard they said supposed to be buried. Now, if your old man that's supposed to be dead ain't buried, that means you still want your old man to hang around with you. Because when I think about the old me, I get sick to my stomach of the way I used to be. But I thank God that I'm not that old person Anymore. But there was a time, even after I had accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, the old man was still existing. The old man was doing what the old man do, even though I said I was saved. But see, the thing is, I was still on milk. But one day, 
lay a bunch of money in my sight and I don't see nobody around, what am I going to do? If. Old man be like, girl, you better get that money. <laughs> old, old girl be like, your husband cheat on you, go cheat on him. <laughs> see, we play, let's get back. You do it to me, I'm going to do it to you. If. But if you are in Christ, that's not what your mindset is. Your mindset is, Lord, I need you to help me in this situation. Yes. Because Satan is really speaking to me. Telling me to go do some things I know I should not be doing. I need you, Lord. <laughs> I need your strength. I need you to help me. Yes. But Satan will come along and say, girl, you know how you used to do it. Because Satan put the thought in your mind don't mean your old man is still living. You just tell Satan, get thee behind me. Yes. You a liar. You was a liar in the beginning. You're going to be a liar in the end. You're going to be a liar when you're in the lake of fire burning. You're going to be a liar then. If. I just want y'all to know the magnitude of that two-letter word, if. Amen. And that other two-letter word, in. If any man be in. That's the only way you can become a new creature. You got to be in Christ. Not lip service. Because we can do lip service all day, every day. But see, there's an old saying. And I believe it to be true. Your actions speak louder than your words. We can walk around here and tell people all day long how saved we are. But then when they see you, they don't see Christ. So that's why I said your actions speak louder than your words. So let your actions and your words coincide together. If I'm in Christ, 
I should act like Christ. They said Christian must be Christ-like. So y'all, take your salvation seriously. People are dying every day. People we know close to us. Not just strangers. Not just old folk no more. Amen. Really now, you hear more young folks dying than you do old people. Amen. But they think they are, I guess they think they are uh, invincible. They think that they won't die. That's why we be teaching our children as young as they are. If they can get on these phones and do everything under the sun, they should be learning about Christ. Amen. The same way we let them get on the phone and spend all day long on the phone doing whatever, whatever they're doing. A lot of us never look at what they're doing. We need to sit down and teach them about Christ. The Bible should train up a child in the way that he should go. That when he is old, he will not depart. But they can't be trained if you don't train them. Amen. If. If any man be Christ. If. He is a little preacher. Old things. Bye bye to the old thing. Bye bye old thing. Bye bye the old way I used to do stuff. Bye bye. Because I'm new. Because I'm new because of Christ. Because I'm in Christ. I'm following after Christ. I'm striving to please Christ. I'm striving to do what the word of God says to be a disciple. Go out and get to know for me. To accept Jesus Christ. Y'all take your salvation seriously. The Bible says, I'm getting ready to sit down. Not to be a stumbling block before your brother. Because a lot of us are stumbling blocks before people. We come to church every Sunday, turn the door open, we're in the church. But then when we're not in the church, we like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Mm. We somebody else. And people are so confused. Yes. They're trying to figure out, well, how can you tell me that I need Christ? How can you tell me that I need to come to church? How can you tell me that I need to do better? But you ain't doing it. Don't be a stumbling block. Don't be that person that causes somebody else not to come to church. The first thing I'm going to say, you ain't nothing but a hypocrite. You try to tell me to come to church. If I come to church and I'm going to act like you act, I'm not going to stay at the house. If. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, if. If. A lot of us making plans. What are we going to do when we leave here today? But what if you die right now? Those plans that you made for the rest of the day or tomorrow or whatever ain't going to come to pay. But while you have breath in your body right now, Look within yourself. Look within yourself. Where do I stand? Really with Christ. Is Christ really the Lord of my life? Or have I made the Lord of my life other stuff? Can't nobody answer that but you. Devil fool you and make you feel like you are all right 